All right, we're back again. You know, I like to listen to my music to drown out a little bit of everything else, but that'd be crazy. You can't drown out everything else. Life is never meant to be drowned out. It's meant to be appreciated every step of the way. So, this is a writing that I just wrote. Hoping that I don't choke. <laughs> but I even spoke about that already. Anyways, and we're right now in another place that I've been. In Chula Vista. Another contribution to my growth. Waiting for a friend. That could have been in the, that could have been actually the story, but it's not. That would be another story for another day. But at this gas station that I'm at, you know, when I was in my homeless times and starving times, you know, uh, it's interesting how your community, you know, contributes to your growth, like. Not just like feeds you, clothes you, shelters you. You can't even imagine if you can think for a minute. I don't believe you can even imagine how many people have been sent to you just so you get to where you are now. I think back on that like relationships. I wouldn't be where I'm at now based on had I not met these different women that I've been in these long extended relationships with and the extension of the relationship is what brought me to every single side of San Diego and Chula Vista and National City and places that I lived when I was a kid and it's a trip but anyway this this writing is called car care a place to grow old school car painted on the wall of a gas station excuse me old school car painted on the wall of a gas station I once was at as a homeless man not back from what but back from where the structure of a real man, a man built with new str new strength, new balance, new mind, new body, new spirit. Now, we're, now we're here, standing in the midst of light, graced by choice. I find my spirit at where the writer was born of, and safe by what he knows, and my community stands strong. We all stand together car wash please find a place inside of me I want to turn into a dove and in life I find love so you would go back to places that you've been I would anyway to find answers try to go backwards a little bit but it's crazy the people you come in contact with if you have a, answer, a question I mean, you usually pray for it, or but maybe the answer was given to you, you just never looked for it, or it never clicked because you weren't ready for it. I mean, look at everybody right now, they're running around like frantic. Can you imagine if the government released everything to you? You would fucking decompose on the spot. Around the clock, you would just jump off the cliff. Look at you now. Six cases, you... You got more fingers on both hands than you have cases of this infection, and look at you. Oh, my friend's here. Excuse me. Enjoy the rest of your day, though. Oh, I guess it's not. It looked like it, but... It's a trip, though, you know? Like, it's like, desist. Stop right now in your freaking tracks fuck man in your fucking tracks like really amplify the word stop with the word fuck like fucking stop 
you're consuming all your resources rapidly and you're leaving kids with nowhere to go. As if the streets weren't bad enough, yo. I'm just saying, though. <laughs> but that's my contribution to that. Is that you need to stop tripping and just breathe. Because it brings into mind, you know, you can't handle the truth. You really can't. Can you imagine if you knew a little bit more than what you know now? You would just fucking pop. That's why they probably don't tell you nothing. <laughs> Same thing for me too, you know. I'd probably pop. I'd probably explode. That's why I'm being woken up in increments. Message here, message there. Can you imagine if you lived your life by messages? Things that you saw that popped out to your brain, like, hey, key in on this. This is important. Take notice to this. You know, and no matter how much I could try to come back, I can't come back as the same person no matter how hard I try. I just, I'm here, but I'm not the same. I'm not. I'm not the same. I'm different. Not that I'm different from my people. My stride is different. I'm arriving at different conclusions that I wouldn't have arrived at before. And even if I indulge on other substances that would possibly bring me back, I still can't get back. Because I wasn't supposed to be. And all my friends and foes that run around here, and it's not that he's too bright, he's too full of light that I can't come around him. It's that if you make it, we'll all make it. If you fall, we'll all fall. Not saying that everybody's relying on me, but can you imagine if it was? If you looked at it like that, why do you fan away from me? I thought we were good like that. I never put a bad taste in your mouth, but I'm watching you grow, Ivy, and I don't want to watch you go slow, so... If you fall, we'll all fall, and it's like fucked up because it's like one could have made it, and... Now what? We're fucking rebellious. Like, get the fuck on. Nah, <laughs> uh, but it's interesting like that. <laughs> There's a trip. Yeah. But I still miss them though. I miss everybody. Even if we had a bad argument or whatever. I understand why you stay away. Even if it wasn't even a bad argument, it was just... That's really what I believe. That's my ground belief that I, you want to see somebody grow, I have to stay away from you, yo. Because you probably won't. I mean, granted, yeah, you can make your own choices. You are grown. You can do that. But... I believe that I can assist you by not assisting you. Unless you were like broke down then yeah, I can help you, hopefully. <laughs> but again, choices got me there, but you know. It's true. But needless to say, I miss everybody. It's the truth. You know, people strive and they'll kill for uh, immortality, you know? But would you really want to be immortal? You'll be always looking for love. You'll always be watching your families die. People that you know just fade away. Trip. You know, it's a trip out. So I was talking to this girl at a dispensary, right? And, uh, <coughs> excuse me. And, uh, I asked her if she was married, and she was like, Do you think I was supposed to be somebody's property? And when she said that, I was so, like, shocked. Like, what? No. Matter of fact, I would have never said that. Maybe in my, when I was dumb, but not now. <laughs> when I thought people could be other people's properties, you know. 
now I'm just thinking of as completing the family unit, like the qualities, you know? So, like, excuse me, love, if you believe that that's what I was going for, but actually I was going for commitment. That's what I'm looking for is commitment. Now that I figured that out. It's, it's a trip. But needless to say, that was the story for today. I mean, for right now, I guess. Uh, let's see. Oh, check this out. This is a great place to go. Will Depot. That's where I get my car fixed. And I have paranoia issues sometimes about my vehicle if it doesn't lock up all the way or... Ask the people that know me, I'll fucking blow a head gasket. I'm trying to get away from that, though. But anyway, they're really good with your vehicle. Like, really good. I would really recommend anybody going to Will Depot, you know. But this story was written when I was over there. Give me one moment. called Will Depot. <laughs> I wrote it when I was sitting over there. Huh. Will Depot. Blue skies with a chance of rain, but to what outcome? The rain brings growth, and here today growth happens. Turning legal today, left turn with a blinker, lifted trucks, lowered cars, good energy, good people. The people you probably grew up with fed you when you were hungry, gave you a place to lay your head, and if you win, they win. You lose, they lose. You're the fight, so fight hard and hard I will fight. Written by Ivory Franklin Daniels, aka Frank Ivory Fuller. 312-20. Interesting. But yeah, I'd recommend them by far. Right, that's it for today.